Well, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you very much for taking a little bit of your lunch hour to come here, and doubly appreciate those of you who brought your lunch here and make this as much of a discussion as possible. Um, before I get started, the only rules of engagement are there are no rules of engagement, so I hope you will feel free to interrupt me at any time, ask questions, discuss. Um, as a teacher, I love it when my audience is engaged and even a little boisterous, so feel free to interrupt me at any time. To uh, tell you a little bit about myself, yes, I am Chavoy. My primary, uh, my primary job, my primary emphasis in life is as a, as a documentary artist. And I've spent the majority of my career uh, going around the world telling the stories largely of people living on the margins, either in war, as was mentioned, in Bosnia. Uh, I've done a lot of work on global poverty, uh, human rights, and so forth. And, and my, my exploration, and my exploration as a scholar, is how do we use the image to begin to create <coughs> more understanding? How do we connect people through the images and the communication that we create and that we distribute? I was also the uh, editor uh, of a newspaper outside of Chicago, uh, where I also grew and built a journalistic organization. So I have these backgrounds as a photojournalist, as an editor, and as a professor that I try to bring to my work, and we're going to talk about that today. So today's idea is an invitation to dialogue. And I thought that theme would be interesting for us because, of course, we all come from different backgrounds and different ideas and pursuits and ambitions. But also, here we are in a history center, uh, surrounded by the history of this area and what that means in terms of how we understand ourselves, how we create our own historic and cultural dialogue. And then we're also surrounded by this wonderful exhibit in the making with the Thousand Crane Project and how we're going to make paper cranes, of all things, and put them out into the world to create dialogue. And so I felt that that would be an interesting way for us to go. And, I, and so I got inspired. So I went online and I checked out the project. And there's this great line on the website. It says, together we will migrate to a prosperous future. And this yeah. whole idea is this great. So you know, I look at this and I think about um, the issues that I'm so involved in and the issue of this project, which is refugees. When we think about migration, is the really, in many ways, I'll defer to the historians, but in many ways, the root of all of human history is, is based in our migration. But as we also say that that migration brings us to this prosperous future, we also know that that is an often unruly path. And I think last week's uh, news and the continuing fallout is a, is a great example of that. that yes, uh, we are, in many ways, migratory, our understanding of our migratory nature is part of what holds us together, but we also know that that route to a greater future is one that's filled with many, many potholes. And of course,